Hey, what's up, people? Michael here. And uh, today we'll be looking at The Darkness 2, which came out on Tuesday for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and I believe those were the only two platforms. I'm not sure about PC. But anyway, yeah, the first level is pretty much the same level as the demo, which came out, with the exception of um, the other scene. So the diner part is pretty much the intro so that's still here um i figured i would do a pretty much a full walkthrough of this entire game kind of show all the relics and everything but that's not really the plan so if i miss a couple my fault i guess but anyway yeah this is just a walkthrough with commentary i suppose but yeah thoughts on the game um i'm liking it you know i mean i thought i wouldn't especially you know because they changed the visual style they changed the developers compared to the darkness one but everything is not too bad so far i played about maybe two hours of it and um yeah i'm enjoying it like i said so this is uh previously on the darkness kind of a run through of what happened in the darkness one of course it wouldn't be as detailed but uh definitely play that game if you haven't before you play this one that one was a good game and you should definitely check it out darkness tore its way through the world inhabiting one human host after another each thinking that they were its master but you can't own the darkness. this part was pretty cool here because um i really didn't know too much about the darkness as a comic series so i don't know the history or how far it stretches back all i know is pretty much the darkness one video game and there's the main player of course Jackie Estacado they pretty much changed his look up just a little bit in this game as well as far um, as well as his voice actors I believe it's somebody new it's definitely not the first it's definitely not the person from the first game that's for sure though for the demon living inside of him you'd be right see the darkness it didn't just make Jackie stronger it, it, it made him a god but only when the lights were out Next thing you know, the mob turns on Jackie, marks him for death, just like that. It was the New York City mob versus Jackie, and the darkness. But as dark as things were for Jackie, there was a light. <laughs> this guy's nuts. And, and, and her name was Jenny. Now, now, now these kids, they, they went way back. I don't think anybody would disagree that they were meant for each other. I gotta give props to whoever's um, voice acting that character there. Because, you know, can you even imagine being in a booth? And talking like that, that's that's some pretty good acting for just voiceover work. Killing Jenny was just about the dumbest thing the mob could have done. See, because without her, Jackie not only had nothing left to live for, he had nothing left to lose. I don't know why they're making him to seem this buff superhero or something with long, beautiful hair. <laughs> so, like, they changed up his look quite a bit. I don't know why, but... It doesn't really fit, you know what I mean? For this whole crime mob family. It's just like the pretty boy of it all. Soon there won't be anything left. Jack, you'll be nothing but an empty shell. And that's just how the darkness likes it. Alright, so we begin. Right around the time he died, my father said to me, he said, Jackie, you can't outrun your fate. But you sure as hell gotta try. I didn't really know what he meant back then. So you'll pretty much have this in between every level that you go through. Pretty much him telling the story, his backstory, what's happening now, and his opinions. Because, you know, he doesn't really talk much in the game, you know. So this is pretty much the only time you get to really know what's going on through his head. The kind of stuff you only see in your worst nightmares. The killing only made it As you can see, he don't even look like the person from the first game no more. I'm not sure Eventually, how many years apart these two games take place of, but um, can't be that much that this look is too drastic. But ever since, there goes uh, Jenny. So clearly, as you can see already, they went with a shell shaded look the for darkness. The Darkness 2 compared to the first, but still all good. I thought it wouldn't work, but it kind of does. You know what I mean? You really... After a while, I'll ignore that fact. And he just so the story is where it's at. The story has always been where it's at. So once you get past the little minor details, you know, the story's just that good that hey, it's a great game. Makes for a great game. So you walk in here. Weird trick here. <laughs> Say it turn to your right, yeah. 
Hey, Jackie, check it out. They put up a picture of your dad. He was a good man, your father. Good man. Well, look, this ain't no time to be depressed. Come on, boss. They got your usual table ready. So, like I said, this is the exact same level from the demo. So, if you play that, you pretty much know what you're about to walk into and how to go about completing this level. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> Indeed. You know, I don't even know what time period this whole game takes place in. It's definitely in New York, I believe. Sorry, a little misinformed, but eh. Bon appetit. Hi, Jackie. Remember us from the Candy Club? Well, not with no clothes on. <laughs> Trust me, ladies. I wish I did. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that scene get me every time. Alright, so this is pretty much where all hell starts to break loose. And the gameplay comes in. The darkness, too. Jackie, you stay with me now. Oh, shit. So like I said, we played the demo, you know exactly how to uh, beat this level. For those who's new, you can follow me and pretty much, yeah, you can complete this stuff. So I'm playing on Xbox 360 here. This is on, I'm, I don't even know what difficulty this all. I just went ahead and jumped in. They do have auto-aim features, so that's kind of a plus. Not too hard to get a shot off on your enemies, you know. The shooting works real nice. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was the same lady who said the um, ravioli was too spicy from before. It's crazy when you play with headphones, you do truly hear a lot of things. You normally wouldn't hear it through your speakers unless you just got some amazing ass speakers or something but I just got some normal TV speakers so so this part here you want to ignore a little bit because like you can see that guy with the orange jump shoot he just keeps running out no matter what it's not like you really run out of ammo anyway so you know what I mean if you want to shoot you can if you want to ignore him you can too Give me a second, Jackie. I ain't been to the gym in weeks. See, I thought he was dead at this scene. I don't even know how he survived that. They must have some terrible aim. I always, I always shoot down with my sights. Because I just find it damn near impossible to not... Or at least to hit your enemy with just a normal reticule. Especially when you dual aim. It's coming up now. Make a break for it, but you gotta take both pieces so I can lift you up. Look at that right. foot. I can't see Let's go. See how they do it. But it is a nice technique, I suppose. If you don't want to use two guns at the same time, let one finish, that reloads, use the other weapon, you know. That's however you want to play it. Alright, so you got an achievement there. Not sure what for. I have to check that later. Now this part here, I understand how Jackie survives, but the other guy, I don't know how, <laughs> he must have an angel on his side. Not only can they not shoot him, but they apparently can't blow him up neither. Crazy. All right, so here, the darkness is becoming more and more, I guess, convincing. Seeing that Jackie is in this tough situation right here. So you get to unleash it, it returns, you know, get your powers back after being contained for so long. 
Come over here. I got something for you. Embrace the darkness. Now, the voice of the darkness, that is still the original one from the first game, so at least some people return, you know? <laughs> yeah, see? I would have been the mysterious black character running in the background away from this. <laughs> So as you can see, you get um, regenerative abilities, I guess. That's pretty much how it'll go. For your health, to regain health, you can eat hearts. Or you can do executions later on, depending on the power-up, which also give you a little bit of health, too. But for the most part, it just regenerates as long as you don't stand under any light. Light is your enemy. I can't believe he made it. Jackie, you alright? All right, so go ahead and engage a conversation. What the fuck just happened, Benny? Who hit us? I don't know, boss. I don't know. After the explosion, I saw some guy with a limp. He had some weird-looking fucks with him. I, nobody I recognized, though. Where'd that piece of shit go? Ah, they headed down the alley. The rest of our crew's out front, so you can meet up with them on the street. I'll be right there. I just... I just need to get my ring back. Give him hell, Jackie. And now we get to um, use some of the darkness powers. This is the very basic one. It's just the whip. Oh, actually, this is the grab right here. So this is pretty cool. You get to impale enemies with a normal object like that. The next one's pretty cool. I was trying to aim for the head and definitely got it. Can you imagine how much that much hurt <laughs> to get a freaking rod impaled in your head? Damn, look at that crap. So now we do the vertical slash. You can do vertical or horizontal. Using the right analog stick. Um, not sure if you can power up this whip later on, but you know, it takes one to, I guess, basically stun them. Then the next one kills them. As you can see, when you see the heart kind of like in that x-ray mode, that's also an opportunity where you can grab them as well. But only when you see that, or I believe when you sneak up on them too, which you would still see it, I guess. What the hell, Jenny? He's being haunted from his past. Still think he's seeing Jenny. Probably just the darkness playing tricks on him again, you know. It's a nice use of the arms here. Although I'm sure you probably could have just shot it. So there are, like I said, uh, stealth kills as well. I guess it's stealth kills, but you know, you get them from behind, you just hit LB, grab them, bam. Not really stealth, I suppose, huh? Loud as hell. Now that is one of many different executions you could do. I'm not sure if you have to buy any, but I know after a while it just started becoming random. So this time here, it'll do the same thing again. But later on in the game, you know, do some different executions as well. So I'm guessing it's just random. You can use it to grab weapons. All very nice. Yada yada. Bam. So we begin. Now what you can do, as you can see, is grab the car door and use it as a shield. You can also use it to throw them too. Um, if you throw that door, it's kind of like a high speed flying destructo disc or something. <laughs> Seeing as it just cuts them in half so instantly. But not bad for the most part. Like I said, don't ever stand under light because your health will go down pretty damn quick. You 
again. I was wondering when you were gonna show up. So right there is the um He's over here. I believe it's called Darkling. These were the same ones from the first game, except they have a little more personality now. They actually talk to you, and apparently they explain where they come from, from Jackie's mind. Now this outfit here is one of the costumes you can buy, or you can get for free if you buy the game new. I don't know if every copy is a limited edition, but I just ordered the regular copy and it came limited edition, so... That's how I got the code for, I guess, this little outfit here. So they can fetch weapons for you, they can kill other enemies. They're actually pretty handy. Only thing I haven't figured out yet, maybe that comes later, if, if is if you can um, actually command them, you know, send them places, tell them to do things, tell them to attack certain enemies, you know what I mean? I remember in the last game there was a gunner one, there was a kamikaze, there was a, uh, that's uh, one of the relics right here. And that is the only relic for this level here, so that's one out of one, as soon as you walk out. That's pretty easy to find. Then, besides that, it's pretty much like, you know, just finish the level. You don't have to really look for anything else that I know of. So this is your talent web i guess you want to call it when you kill everybody you do special moves etc etc you get essence so with that essence you can buy new power-ups new abilities make things stronger you know how it goes now you got the ability to eat hearts and regain health i remember in the first game you got an achievement for like eating either with a hundred or a thousand hearts so as I'll play this game, you'll see me just randomly eating hearts. Although I, I guess I could just check the achievement list. <laughs> uh, this part's pretty funny here. Some enemies will pop up. So, yep. I believe it's about four of them, and one behind you as well. Oh, actually a couple. So bottom left, that's your health. You want to keep an eye on that. But honestly, as I was playing this game, my eyes pretty much never even focus over there. So I mean, just got to be really careful, you know. Shoot lights if you need to. That way you don't walk under it, get hurt, get some bullets, and die, you know? So you see, see, you even get points for having your Darkling assist you with a kill, you know? Or you assist a Darkling with a kill. So not only are they good distractions as well, but... They're just pretty much useful in every way. Alright, so we're starting to meet up with your own boys. Play this area right here, then go down the subway. Sometimes we'll have slow motion moments like that if you do something cool or if the game thinks you did something cool. Or worth slowing down for. Shoot this light out here, as well as the next one behind it, or to the left of it, I guess, since we're facing that direction. Just make sure there's nothing else around here. But little did I know, all you had to do was hit start, see how many relics were on each level. I like to just grab items, you know, just to be um, prepared of what's coming up, I guess. I mean, so if anybody just randomly pop out, you just throw it at them. 
Uh, continuing down the subway, all still the same stuff from the demo. A lot more light down here, so you want to be careful. Shot a civilian. Now, this is a new one here. Clean took his head off. Take whatever you want. As long as I can find it. So gross. <laughs> And another execution. That's the wishbone one. That one, in my opinion, must hurt the most. Oh, this is pretty funny here. Alright, so up ahead in this um I guess little middle area here will be another area where you can upgrade your power. So if you got enough essence, go ahead and do that. I believe I bought a couple things. So went ahead with the twenty percent more essence, you know what I mean? Figured that'd be useful. And then one right above that as well, which will kind of show you the relics. If you're near enough, it'll show you where they are. And it only costs 50, so hey, make things easy, right? The great thing about this game though as well is if you don't have enough essence by the time you reach the end of the game i'm not sure how it'll work maybe you'll have enough maybe you have too much maybe you have too little but there are is always a new game plus so so you can start up a new game with your abilities and just keep going you know tackle it on a harder difficulty everything pretty much powered up unlocked make things easy you're So, um, watch out on the other side of the train tracks here to the right. You don't really have to worry about them, too. Don't waste ammo. Train comes. So 20 points for headshots, definitely always want to get that as much as you can. Compared to just the regular 10, I believe, for the kill. So don't worry about this part here, it's all scripted. Just make sure there's nothing else in this area that you had to pay attention to. 
And then once you done, once you run down, there'll be a couple guys. You only, you only have to shoot them. I mean, like I said, this whole part is scripted. Now, of course, on a harder difficulty, I wouldn't just be running carelessly into the battle like this, though, but whatever difficulties this is on, it's pretty good enough. So the good thing about the health, I guess, see the bottom left, it's not just four hits you can take, it's just really, it depletes. And with every heart, Gain some health. So it's kind of really hard for you to die in this game because you know you just have so many opportunities to get your health back. I can't imagine how <laughs> the voice actor for that does this. So a little dream sequence here now this part was not in the demo back there where that train part happens that's exactly where the demo cuts off so all, everything here from on out is new footage well not everything since the demo had uh other levels as well where the hell are we you let stupid stuff get in your head then it gets all jumbled and weird and people think you're not free hello Tony Tony what happened did you find the guys who hit us at the restaurant sometimes I can't tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable <laughs> we like this? what Oh man, that's that's just brutal. That's just brutal, yo. Alright, so you magically pair outside again from who knows where and you know meet up with the rest of your crew. Jackie, over here. Jesus Christ, Jackie, we thought you was dead. What happened back there? I uh I handle things like I always like do. both. What the hell's going on, Tony? Hell if I know, boss. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of here. You go in your limo. And that's pretty much the end of uh, that first level there. Thanks for watching, and yeah, part two is in the video response box to the bottom.